beautiful day here in Northern California. It's warmed up quite a bit. It was cold this morning. This is Niels Han Dynasty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Buy some silver and some platinum. Be kind, helpful, and grateful because it's definitely better than being a jerk. Came across the support. This is about Africa. And uh, what I see is a, a catalyst for change in world economics uh, by what Kenya is doing. Let me get inside the house. Ah. Oh, look at that. Greeted by kitties. That one was going to jump my head. That one was going to jump on me. I'm scared. Anyhow, this is about what the Kenya is doing. And uh, it's very interesting, actually. Let's see what the president of Kenya just did. And again, I say, this is going to change economics. This, this is going to change economics. I have good good feeling about this one. Uh, here it is. Here's the report. Let's get to it. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. But Kenya intends to eliminate visa requirements for all African nationals by the close of 2023. This decision is driven by the goal of enhancing trade relations with fellow African nations. By the end of this year, no African will need a visa to enter Kenya. The time has come to understand the importance of doing trade between us. William Ruto delivered this announcement while attending the summit that centered on the world's three primary forest basins, the Amazon, Congo, and Borneo Mekong forest basins, which took place in Bratsville, the capital of the Republic of the Congo. The Kenyan president argued that visa requirements enforced by Western nations are detrimental to Africa. He drew a comparison between Africa and Europe, where visa restrictions are notably absent, and he encouraged African countries to adopt a similar approach. Ruto highlighted the limited level of trade among African nations and called for a reduction in customs tariffs across the continent to expedite the realization of the African continental free trade area. That it is time we in this continent realize that having visa restrictions among us ourselves is working against us. When people cannot travel, when people cannot travel, business people cannot travel, entrepreneurs cannot travel, we all become net losers. That's the president of Kenya talking to us right now through this video obviously it's a couple minutes old uh from the african news network the new african channel excuse me uh again kenyan president calling for his country to stop the use of visas for every african national on the continent of africa this is a big economic game changer this is a catalyst that will go throughout africa once they see how much money Kenya is going to be making, yeah, you gotta you gotta relax some tariffs and and some small capital gains on some, some things you're doing. But when it comes to free trade, the amount of taxation you'll get from or revenue from taxation you'll get from that free trade in the sale and transportation far suppresses the amount you get from eating on other countries and 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 ta doing tariffs and stuff like that. But uh. I see what this guy's doing is pretty, pretty good. And like I said, I believe it's a catalyst for, for changing economics because once Africa, it, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to tell. There's a lot of countries like 57 countries in Africa, 57 different government leaders, types, sizes, shapes, everything. But as soon as the majority of them get on board with this, as I've said in the past, well over a year ago, just like Ninja, I'm always early, uh, Africa's a good spot for investment. It really is. Go to a safe country and and start investing in startups because these guys are going to, it's going to be like 1945 America in Africa probably next year sometime it'll start if this takes hold. Now let's get back to the report. Sorry, I digress. Let's get back to clapping. Applause. I am very happy that 
we are now moving in the direction of eliminating visas amongst ourselves. Let me say this. As Kenya, by the end of this year, no African will be required to have a visa to come to Kenya. British. And I am very proud that the intra-trade within the East African community is already at 27% because we have taken the deliberate decision to remove unnecessary tariffs and visa regulations. See, uh, <laughs> maybe I should watch these reports before I give them to you guys. Uh, like I was saying before he said it, uh, removing these small amount of taxes and tariffs is, is minuscule. They've already gained 27% increase in trade volume money brought into the countries in East Africa, Central East Africa. That's amazing. Great financial opportunities to invest. Again, not a financial advisor. But man, does it, I mean, please go to your, t t check it out. Have your financial advisor, check it out. See what he says. I think it's a great opportunity. I am also very happy that my father here, President Sassoon Gweso, when he came to Kenya, we agreed that there will be no visa requirement between the Democrats. Between, between Kenya and the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo, Brazzaville. I am also happy, I am also happy that last month, when we removed visa requirements for DRC, my brother, President Felix, Chisekedi also removed visa requirements for Kenya DRC. Let me urge us that we need greater collaboration. Okay, first off, uh, I need to research this president more and uh, I need to research President of Kenya and the President of the Democratic Republic of Congo because it sounds like a family mafia. If that truly is his brother or if they just use that expression and term, he is my brother without no familial con connection. But if he is actually blood brother, same family, that's actually more concerning. And I would... It's more concerning. But anyhow, <clears throat> please look into to Africa. They seem to be moving in the right direction. And uh, anytime a, a dynamic shift like that occurs, opportunity, opportunity creates investments, investment opportunities. Be kind, helpful, grateful. Have a nice day. Buy some silver and some platinum.